key. You need to match. Come on. <laughs> Matching is key. Appreciate it. Also key. Get, getting here safely and, and uh, parking safely is a key as well. Everyone good? All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. And on that note, welcome to another episode of San Diego Prep Insiders. Uh, really excited by our next studio guest. It's the Tory Pines girls volleyball team. Let's go down the uh, line with names, grades, um, position, and for this particular group also, uh, if you have already committed to a college, if you could let everybody know that, please. Let's start uh, with studio left. Awesome. Hi, I'm Nikki Quinn. I'm a senior, and I'm going to Duke, and I'm a setter. Hi, I'm Audrey Adam. Um, I'm a right side. I am not committed, and I'm also a senior. That's not a bad thing. It's just there's an abnormal amount of you committed that are in this room versus the normal team that comes <laughs> in here. Hi, I'm Ayana Johnson. I'm a senior. I'm an outside hitter, and I'm committed to South Carolina State University. You now, you now hold the record for quickest repeat appearance on this show, having been on <laughs> here uh, only two weeks ago. Right. Um, hi, my name's Katerina Lutz. I am a senior, and I'm libero, and I'm committed to UCLA. You picked the right college of all of them. Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex McGilvery. I'm a senior and I'm an outside slash libero. Um, I'm Grace Flanagan. I'm a middle and a senior um, and I'm committed to play at Santa Clara University. Coach, for you, you can swing either one of those around. That is perfect. And my name's Brennan Dean and I'm the head coach of the girls volleyball program at Torrey Pines High School. This is year number what for you? I think this is year 12. Wow. Um, yeah. And if you don't mind, can I brag about what number championships you have, uh, yeah, have brought home? If you know home? what it is, feel y free. You're, are I you closing in on know. double digits yet? Uh, is there anything that you haven't won yet? You've won Coach of the Year. You've won an Open Division Championship. Uh, you've won a state championship. You've won a national championship. Uh, yep. So yep. We you guys ha now have to go, what, into international waters <laughs> to find <laughs> other countries <laughs> to, to play? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I'm very fortunate. I'm lucky that I have such fantastic talent year after year and these girls are a perfect example of that so uh, I get to ride the coattails of my players well let me ask you guys this then uh, and most of these are just open questions to the room so I apologize if I'm, I'm you know thinking that one of you is answering or with this the other just go for it but what is it like being a part of that culture because there's a lot of teams in San Diego where they'll have one big game or like one or two big games in a year and you guys have like 20 to 40. And it's like all big games. You don't really have a day off ever. There's everything is a big moment. What's it like being a part of that? Yeah, I can take that. Um, I would definitely say that just because of the reputation that Tory Pines is known for, like, like we're all kind of like expected to be that high level type of athlete. And like, I think a lot of people would think that that's super stressful and like is a lot of pressure. And no, that no doubt that it is. But I think that that's what kind of um, like because of those high expectations, like we have to kind of step into those roles of such high, um, high level athletes. And I think that's what leads to like a lot of the Torrey Pine success. I mean, obviously with hard work and a lot of other <laughs> awesome things about our team, but yeah. When I don't feel like any of you guys are caught off guard by it, you know what you're signing up for going into Torrey Pine. So it's something that all of you guys crave. Like you remembered being freshmen showing up here being like, yes, I want to work harder than anybody's ever worked before. Where does that kind of come from for you guys? I think that something that our program really values um, is being grateful for the opportunity that we have. And there's so many talented girls on our team. Um, and I just feel like there's such a feeling of inspiration when you're on court or in, when you're in practice with girls that are so like have are play at such a high level. Um, it's just kind of what be like having the opportunity to play with them is kind of what fuels how good we are, I think, because we're just so grateful for the opportunity to train together. So is every day at practice an open division game? Like, it, it, are you is you guys versus <laughs> is you guys versus you guys the best volleyball that anybody could watch in San Diego? Honestly, I would say yes. Like when we're in practice, we're diving after balls, we're grinding, we're loud. Coach is on the sideline in his little squat position, as if it's a <laughs> as if it's game day. Like we're getting into it, so we definitely don't take no um, days off. And it's so fun to watch and so fun to just be a part of the game. The gym gets super loud. We all get super hype. We're all sweating. It's just a lot of hard work in the gym. I, I don't want to ask this as like an outing anybody, but do any of you guys have a memory of like? the first time 
that maybe like Tory Pines volleyball was a little bit too much for you as a freshman or something like that, where you're like, oh, I remember that first time I played against Cathedral or a Redondo Union or some other senior that was here when I was a freshman, and maybe I wasn't quite ready. Um, are anybody willing to, to share a story like that? Yeah, actually, I remember last year, our first home game was against Cathedral, and we had a really big student section full up. Like, it was fully packed, and that was like, since COVID was the year before, it was like my first time really experiencing that as a Torrey Pines athlete. And at first I was like, wow, this is a lot. But if anything, like the more you go through it, it actually like helps the game. And like us as players, like we want that and we almost crave it. You guys get pretty good attendance from the fans and support yeah. from yeah, this. Our, like, our yes. student section is like nothing else. They like it's the games. energy of like in the gym is insane. Like it's a whole nother type of volleyball. What, yeah. do you, what do you guys have to do to convince people to show? Like, do you a have ASB, to? ASB, let's go! <laughs> is that you on yeah. ASB? I, so I'm you, the um, Toy Pines ASB president, and we... Um, so you're the, you're the living embodiment of Falcon Spirit. <laughs> um, she is. Um, yeah, we work really hard to kind of promote all of our um, games. I mean, a little bit biased. I, I, I make it mandatory for my <laughs> ASB members to come, but... Um, is she a good and merciful ruler? Yes. As the yes. ASB president, yes. <laughs> um no, but people have so much fun. Like, I think we kind of make it um, an environment, like, just just like it is for Friday night football games. It's, like, um, an activity for students to come do after school and to kind of watch and be part of something big. We've got, like, themes. Like, this What are some good themes this year? We've got tie-dye coming up on Thursday. Um, we're kind of planning them on right now, but we do, like, costume out and um, camo, cardinal, like, kind of everything. Um, lots of funny ones, but... Um, Lots of t- just everything Tory Pines. But, um, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and something else about volleyball, I think, specifically, is a lot of people go to the football games and nobody understands the rules. And 99% of people aren't even watching the game. But I tell everyone, I'm like, you don't need to know a thing about volleyball. <laughs> you see a girl hit a ball hard and everyone just screams. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. It, it's it's when that girl gets a ball in her face, you yeah. cheer. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. yes. Yeah. What is the best feeling in volleyball? Because as a 5'10 white guy with limited athleticism, yeah. I did not get to experience much in the ways of, like, jumping-type sports. Is it a good, clean, like, get it between I two big, tall girls? or is it a million percent st- say a stuff block, but I think it mm-hmm. definitely depends on, like, what position, like, yeah. for Kai. So you're saying you're saying else. denying somebody. You're just saying being like, up at the just front. Just getting up and, like, roofing someone is... Roofing someone. Yeah, there's, I like there's, that. there's many terms. <laughs> I would, um, you go, Kat. Just watching my other teammates like all of you guys just completely stuff another player that is what gets me. so the best feeling is yeah. watching yeah. The, <laughs> the, the oak trees in yes, front of you uh, d- d- what it fuels all of us watching each other yeah. just ball out on the court and that's what kind of motivates all of us to compete thrive and win and then there's the one time that the libero gets like a nice uh, no, yeah. no, no, I can't get some crazy. No, like everyone comes up to me after the games and they're like, "Who's that? Like one like blonde girl that like li- she'll get every single ball. Like Cat will never let a ball drop. So that's pretty pretty exciting for sure. <laughs> Do you guys have to like challenge her at practice to to see like if you can find a way to get a ball past her? Um, <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> What is the most damaged you have been at the end of a practice from jumping around? Oh, there's laughter coming from this. <laughs> is there a, we have a lot of injury stories? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just specifically for her, or just it's in general? Yeah. Okay, so I think people maybe don't understand then fully. Like, you know, a, a football season it makes sense to some people. Like, oh, by week eight or nine, you're banged up, you're whatever, and they don't maybe see the cumulative like taking 300 dives to your right is eventually going to wind up hurting you. Like how hurt or like not maybe hurt, but how much wear and tear are you guys feeling by game 20 or 30 of the year? Well, I would say like, if you think about football, it's two guys hitting into each other, but volleyball, what people don't realize is we're constantly just hitting the floor. And when it's the Torrey Pines gym, that's just a wood surface that we're running into. And the thing is, once and you all of you are wearing knee pads and ankle pads, and that's yeah. it, really? Like, there's no wrist or elbows or anything, right? No. Okay. And, I mean, once you're a high-level athlete, you really get used to it, and you love it, and diving, and when you make that play, it's the best feeling in the world. But it's not necessarily the best feeling in the world that night when you're all yeah. bruised and <laughs> icing. And Court burned. Yeah. Like that's what we play for, though, just the feeling of... Coming up bleeding? Yeah. <laughs> yes, There's a lot of times yeah. that today at practice. So just just <laughs> knowing that you put in the work and that you were going all out and see what we're... Yeah. 
So looking ahead to this season, I'm sure the expectations are high as always, and we don't need to bore people with um, an excessive amount of like, what are you looking at for this matchup or that matchup? We'll include all the information, how you guys can find them this season or just apparently go near the campus and follow where all the kids are going in costume and uh, <laughs> you will wind up at the games. But what are maybe um, who is the is it, I know that LCC is the rival for like you guys as a school, but is it cathedral? Is it LCC? Who is the rival for you guys this year that you're like, hey, we have that game extra circled? Yeah, I think our team to beat this year is definitely Cathedral. And even though LCC is always just Tory Pine's rival, like those it games. It can differ from school yeah, to school and program to program. Totally. Those games are like some of the most fun. And the thing is, like, lots of these girls will play within club. Like, we've known them for years. So, if anything, it's this added layer. And it's almost even more fun because you're like, oh, I know her. Like, I know her tendencies. And it kind of becomes like a game. So, it's super fun. Coach, I'm curious about game prep on that front. Um, with certain sports in the San Diego high school community, you'll get uh, kind of that overlap, like she said, where, hey, we play against this team, like baseball, basketball, you guys have that in droves and then other sports don't. So does it make it easier or harder to game prep for someone when you know their tendencies, but they know your tendencies kind of thing? Yeah, I think volleyball is a really small community, and I think that everyone in – our team could probably predict with 95% accuracy the starting lineup of every opponent that we'll have this year. And there are some advantages to that. But um, this year in San Diego County, there's a lot of really strong teams that we're excited to compete against, starting with San Marcos tomorrow, our very first match. So um, we're not looking past anybody, and we know that we've got our work cut out for us. For you guys uh, as a senior class going into this year, what has been the mindset um, in terms of where are you guys setting the goals for yourselves, for the team? What are you guys thinking? What are you guys telling yourselves as you've been going through this preseason? I can talk. Um, I think that a lot of us, has, since we've been in the program for at least three to four years now, we understand the work and the grit. And so I think just setting – at least a standard for all the younger classmen and especially for me being injured just hyping up the team as much as I can and being there for my girls I think is super important and we're like one big family we're not just friends we're sisters and that's what it feels like so I think setting that standard being super efficient and just going out for everything when an underclassman sees you know cat diving for a ball and hustling for a ball it makes them want to do the same thing so it's going to continue to build um, the program over in future years yeah we had a really good talk with our whole team um we had a team bonding a few days ago and uh one of the things that we decided that we really value this year is playing for each other and um being supportive for our teammates so you know in a game instead of playing for yourself and worrying about what's going on you give out 100 percent because cat's hitting the floor and like bonking her head or because nikki just like dove and things like that and that bond is how we create the high energy, and that's ultimately going to lead to our success. Yeah, that, that's the secret to the success. What do you guys want to leave behind as a legacy for your senior class or, or a lasting impact on the program? I think it would be great if we um, are, were known as just the team that went all out for each other, just no ball hit the floor. Just collectively as a team, we have, um, we have such great chemistry and just a really hardworking team that just plays for each other. We talk every year for the last 12 years about the standards that we set in the gym and our standards are set by our seniors. And every year they come into that class excited, I think a little nervous, um, intense, but wanting to make sure that they keep the standard where all the alumni left it. And they want to make sure that they teach the underclassmen when you get to this senior year like we're in right now, this is the expectation that we want you to set when we're in the stands and we're alumni. We want to make sure that standard standard is always at the highest peak. Well, I'm curious because eventually at some point you run out of room after winning 
X number of state and, always room. and world <laughs> championships to be like, hey, you guys got to take it one notch above us um, a, as a group. You mentioned the team bonding going on, and I'm always curious uh, who controls the music on a team and how that is dished out. So who is in charge of, of the music and the vibes I'm this year? I'm in charge of playlists this year for our, all our games. We always have a set playlist, so I send it out to all the girls, and they add music to it. And do we approve thus far? Or I guess we haven't really had a game yet, but... Yeah, we're gonna we're we're getting there. But I think music is a big thing for us for game day. We love to get hype. We're dancing. We're silly. So, so you guys don't have like an official song yet for this season. Like you're like you're like anthem. We're, we're working on it. Yeah. We'll we'll Every send it to you. Is it just gonna be you singing Tori Pines' alma mater at the right? top of your lungs uh, in front of the in front of this? We do club. have our little falcons in the front here yeah. that we always love to do. Yeah, our, like, yeah. Too, that will like come in and she like leads all the yeah. cheers. So the Falcons every, in the front might not be a your thing. That just might be the most generic yeah, of the yeah. Tory. <laughs> <thing>. uh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Volleyball girls make it better. Okay, Let's deal. <laughs> if you guys want to claim that as your cheer specifically yeah. <laughs> over any of the other cheers, um, we really appreciate you guys coming in. And just folks, we want to remind you guys that this is some of the most amazing volleyball you will see in the world. Literally, like there is not much better at the top of the mountain peak uh, for San Diego or anywhere high school volleyball. So make sure you go check them out. Thank you very much, everyone, for being on the show. We'll talk to you guys soon, sports fans.